hyperspace. UFO engine, how it works, part two. Now, in this video, we're going to talk more in depth on what the engine in the UFO actually does. As you notice, as before, the coil inside the blueprint and Roden coil was uh, invented by Roden, Marco Roden, and this coil was also used in the UFO engine wrapped around a torus shape like this one and it's filled with a mercury liquid based ferrofluid and it's magnetic and has no friction so it can spin around and around faster and faster inside of it and to the point where it reaches like Bose-Einstein constant where each molecule, each atom acts as one and then it creates its field around the spaceship which means it envelops it in a enclosure of hyperspace and hyperspace is really weird to explain because nobody has ever seen it but it's like a concept of space with no space space with no time so it's no space or time or anything so the engine accelerates the liquid inside the ship Inside the engine and creates more mass and more energy which creates a pinch off into hyperspace so it's like jumping from this space into a new whole new space where nothing exists and when you get there you can jump to anywhere in the whole universe like a wormhole effect if you could see it from the outside it probably would look like this but hyperspace is the most complicated form of fabric of space in the universe and here's my equation set up um, I use three different equations two are Albert Einstein's and one is Isaac Newton's all these tie in together when you're talking about a hyperspace first one Albert Einstein field equation matter times energy equals the curvature of space-time and the second one Albert Einstein is equation E equals MC squared mass times C squared equals energy and Isaac Newton's law of gravitation mass times gravitational acceleration equals gravitational force so all the matters are the same energy is C squared and gravita gravitational acceleration and the curvature of space time is also energy and gravitational force so when you're talking about energy and mass it's all tied in together the reason I show you these three equations is because these three equations support that the spinning of the liquid inside the engine creates more gravi gravity as it reaches the speed of light and passes the speed of light. It curves space around it and that space is energy and it's all the same thing in hyperspace. In hyperspace everything is the same. So in hyperspace energy space gravitational force all of it's in one so all these three equations are doing is just supporting the fact that if you spin a liquid fast enough that it bends space around it because of all the energy in that concentrated spot and now that you know about hyperspace that would explain how the flying saucers and other objects can like instantly go from like 20 feet from you to about a football field away in one instant because in hyperspace all space is the same so when you, the spaceship goes into hyperspace it can choose where to go instantly no matter where it is in the universe so I hope you thought this video was very educating and if you liked it please leave a comment and check out part one if you haven't did that already and uh, if you like UFO videos and other stuff, please subs subscribe because my sky is full of UFOs and other strange objects and I have videos on those too. You can check those out on my channel. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, check with me later. Bye-bye.